Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, recently we had a Power Query contest where we actually held this contest uh, which was more of a raffle uh, where we actually gave out five copies of the M is for Data Book or M is for Data Monkey Book. Uh, the contest was pretty simple. We had a file which was actually a CSV file that had a table that looked like this the one on the left and we needed uh, to convert that table into just the table that we have on the right so we're gonna look at this specific file we're gonna open it in Excel so I'm just gonna look for that specific file that you can actually download as well if you go to the site uh, link in the description so we're gonna go CSV right here sales data are you going to notice something really cool? So, first of all, we have this table, this is another table, and then we have another table like this one. All of them have the same amount of columns, but they don't have the same amount of rows. Some of them actually have matching columns like this one. So, 1 to 12, that just means that we have a full year and these are actually multiple reports for the same company throughout the years so we have the data for all the customers these uh, numbers or letters uh, sorry yeah, letters are actually uh, customer IDs and we have their values throughout the months on the year 1991 you have their values for 1992 and we have their values for 1993 Notice that in some cases we don't have the same customer in the same year. For example, we only have A in the year 1991, but we don't have the customer A in 1992. So, what we want to do is take all of this data that we have right here and simply uh, combine it so we can have one big table, one big long table, like the one that we have here, which is more easy to analyze with Excel. We can pivot it, we can use a, a power pivot if one, we can actually do whatever we actually want because it is in the best format to be analyzed with a pivot table. And that is amazing. That is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to show you uh, the way that most of the entries actually use or solve this situation, this scenario. So I'm going to go with power query this is Excel 2016 so I'm gonna go with power query new query this is gonna be from file this is gonna be from CSV I'm gonna grab this data as you can see here and we have the query editor here so first of all we're gonna notice something really cool on the first row of each of these tables inside of this one big table we have a header so the header in this case on the first column is actually a number. Now we can take advantage of that because all of the other values below that number are actually text values. So what if we right click, we say duplicate column, we duplicate that column, but just so we can actually change the data type to a whole number. So you're going to notice that it's going to give me a lot of errors, but that is okay. We don't we actually want them because we're gonna replace those errors. Sorry, it's gonna be yeah. So transform replace errors. And we're gonna replace those errors with null values, just like this. Now that we have null values, what we can do here is fill down on this column. And we have this new column that gives us what year this table or this values of this rows are from which is amazing we can also get rid of the specific null values that we have here because we no longer need them to be honest so we're just gonna do that remove the null values we can we can do something better yeah we can promote the headers at this point That's promoted with use first row as headers. 
that's good and later what we can do here is if this is 1982 if equal to this one then let's say that give us a true so we're gonna do that so is this one equal to the last one if this is true then we actually need to remove it so let's see yep so we have this we need to do something else and that is going to be transforming this into text so I'm just going to transform it into text first just for this to actually work there we have it so true we're going to remove that to be we don't want the ones that have true good enough we have it we're going to remove this this is going to be customer the other ones are just going to remain the same this is going to be year and you know what's coming we're going to have to do a uh, on pivot so we're going to put this just for convenience right here select those two columns right click on pivot other columns and now we have the month and we have the value which is just the amount we can put this into a whole number it changed to currency sorry and this is going to be a whole number for us and that is how you will actually do it at this point you can actually do the merge queries and you can merge this with the other query that we have which is the uh, the table of customers so we can have the ID and transform this with the proper name that we have here and then expand that to be the name that you want and that's how you actually do it now in the next video I'm gonna show you how we actually recommend you do this and how in some cases perhaps what you see here as a number might actually be a text so how will you actually do that we're going to show you that in the next video so stay tuned